Yellowstone volcano's last super eruption begins with explosive decades. The last super eruption at the Yellowstone volcano was preceded by several explosions that spanned decades, scientists have found. The Lava Creek Tuff eruption occurred 631,000 years ago and researchers studying the event have discovered unexpected rock deposits that suggest the event was much more complicated than previously thought. Yellowstone has produced several large eruptions that have formed the caldera. The explosion 2.1 million years ago, known as the Huckleberry Ridge Tuff eruption, was so large that the ground above the magma chamber collapsed, leaving a crater 50 miles long and 40 miles wide. Another major super eruption 631,000 years ago ejected 1,000 cubic kilometers, 240 cubic miles, of rock and left ash deposits across the western US, southern Canada, and northern Mexico. Last year scientists also announced two previous super eruptions, with the largest occurring 8.7 million years ago. This event, known as the Grey Landing Super Eruption, saw an area the size of New Jersey covered with searing hot volcanic glass. Along with this super eruption, there have been several smaller episodes of volcanic activity at Yellowstone, with the last occurring 70,000 years ago. It is unlikely that the volcano will produce another super eruption for thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of years. However, understanding how this super eruption could shed light on what could happen ahead of the next major event at Yellowstone. In the latest, Caldera Chronicle, a weekly column by scientists published on the USGS Yellowstone Volcano Observatory website, researchers look at the Lava Creek Tuff eruption 631,000 years ago. Raymond Salazar and Madison Myers, of Montana State University, along with Colin Wilson, of Victoria University of Wellington, New Zealand, said their work in the Sour Creek Dome area, which lies to the east of the National Park, had revealed a set of ignimbrite units thought to be belonging to the Huckleberry Ridge Tuff eruption actually came from the Lava Creek Tuff eruption. Ignimbrite units are like sheets of volcanic deposits that were deposited during volcanic events. The older ignimbrite units, they say, must have erupted, cooled, then broken up and transported before the next explosive event. Unit 2 was deposited on top of Unit 1. Because large ignimbrites take a long time to completely cool, these deposits indicate that there was a lag between the two events from year to decade, they wrote. And all of this happened before any of the previously mapped material when Lava Creek Tuff erupted. The picture that emerges is a complex sequence starting with several explosive events that may have been separated by years to decades before the better charted explosive eruption occurred. The discovery follows similar findings in last year's Huckleberry Ridge eruption, where researchers found the event 2.1 million years ago occurred over several decades, rather than being a single event. Salazar now plans to remap the South Creek Dome area and collect samples to better identify the composition of the pre-erupted magma allowing researchers to gauge the depth and temperature of the magma chamber. The importance of this information lies in determining whether these two new units are leakages from one large lava creek magma body or are separate magma pools and trying to understand what triggered this previous outbreak.